Hello friends, I'm Joanna from Joanna Miranda Studio and this is my video series Art Bag Time Saving Tips and Tricks. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll probably remember that I have mentioned that I love drawing with this. And this is my Noodler's Ahab Flex Fountain Pen. When I first got this pen, before I actually purchased it, I read the description and I was a little put off by the fact that many of the people writing reviews of this pen said that it's a quote, tinkerer's pen, that you have to love to tinker with the pen to get it to work properly. And I thought, eh, that's not for me. I just want a pen that works. I don't want to fuss with it. But because it was $23 and it has a flex nib, which is something I wanted, I thought, well, let me give it a try. And today I'm going to talk about how I learned to take apart the pen so that I could clean it, and also how I refill it with my favorite ink, which is the Diatrementis Document Ink. One of the reasons why it's really important to feel comfortable with taking apart your Noodler's Ahab pen is that when you receive it from the manufacturer, they will have added a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of oil, and that oil actually inhibits the proper flow of ink. Now, when I got my pen, I thought, I, I don't want to take it apart. I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. So I just filled it with ink and went ahead and started working. Now, I found that of course, as they warned, that true to form, I started having problems, as you can see here, hopefully, um, that the ink was beginning to railroad, uh, the tines were separating, and the pen wasn't working all that well. And so I tried refilling it with ink, but I still had the problems, and finally I realized that, yes, I'm going to have to learn how to take the pen apart. So I'm going to show you how you take a Noodler's Ahab pen apart, or how I do it. This is the cap. I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off. And then here you have the um, nib of the pen and then the holder and the bottom part of, I don't know what this part is called, but this unscrews. So I'm, I'm unscrewing it now. And as you can see, the barrel here, hopefully you can see that, is empty. It needs ink. This actually pulls, the barrel pulls out and there's a little... Um, feed tube here and I'm going to leave that in for now it actually does come out completely um, with the nib the nib will come out of this holder part with a little bit of gentle twisting and pulling and so I have a paper towel here just because I don't want my fingers to get there as you can see I already have ink on them but so we're going to just take this and see if I can Pull it, of course, for the video, it won't work like I want it, but I'm trying to pull it apart. And it does, as you can see, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. Oh, and maybe knocking over your camera stand in the process. So as you can see now, I have ink on my fingers, but I have pulled apart the holder. And I'm going to drop that into some water here. Um, and then the nib separates from this portion, which is actually uh, part of the feed. And I'm, I'm just going to drop all of that into water right now. Clean my fingers. The reason why I have a cup of water here is because I am in my mom's pottery studio. There isn't a sink here. So I'm making do with just a cup of water rather than a sink. A sink with some warm water and a little bit of, of detergent is ideal. Okay, so as I mentioned, a sink uh, with running water and a little bit of detergent to clean the pen parts is ideal. And so I actually stopped the video, ran inside um, with my pen parts to the sink because I figure if I'm going to fill the pen, um, it really should be cleaned properly. So now we have the nib, um, which I've cleaned. Oops, there's a little tiny bit left of ink on the side, remnant of ink here. But you can see the nib is clean. Um, I have the feed, and the tube is actually pretty clean now, too. It's yeah, It looks pretty clear now, so most of the ink has, has been flushed out. I flushed out the piston part of the pen, and I also cleaned with uh, warm, soapy water the holder. So let's go ahead and reassemble the pen. And, and this is one of the interesting things about the Noodler's pen, and that's that if you find that your ink is not flowing enough, you can um, move the pen nib further out from the feed and then reassemble it with the nib further out. 
If you find that you have too much flow of ink and that you might get blobs of ink, which is obviously undesirable, you can position the nib further back on the feed, so further down, and assemble it that way. Um, so I try to hit the sweet spot, um, assemble it about here. The piston is the feed tube is in. Um, I'm pressing it with my thumb and forefinger to hold it in place. And I'm going to see if I can just slide this back in. And again, a little bit of elbow grease is necessary to get it um, pushed back in far enough. And I don't actually like, I, th I have to pull it out again because I have too many of these little ridges exposed. Okay, I've pulled it out again and then pushed it back in so that I have, um, oh, I don't know, maybe about seven of the ridges exposed. Um, but most of the ridges, the, the rest of the ridges are already in the holder. Um, and that's where, that's for me, that's the sweet spot um, for getting the pen to work properly for my, my own needs and the way I hold the pen. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, put the piston back on. And you have to make sure that this little tube, there's a hole um, down in the center of the filling tube. That little tube has to fit in. And once it does, then you can go ahead and twist on the filling mechanism until it's tight. And now I have the inner part of my pen reassembled and I can use the piston to draw up the ink. I can That, that will expel ink when it's pushed down. This will draw up the ink. Um, so let's go ahead and fill the pen now. This is my Diatramentus document ink gray. Um, I'm putting it down into, whoops, first I got to push the plunger down, put the pen into the bottle of ink, and then pull the plunger up. And you might have to do this a couple of times. Also, my ink bottle is getting a little bit lower, so I have to tilt it a little bit, hopefully not spill it all over the desk. Okay, and now I have the pen filled with ink. Um, I had to actually stop the video and it was a two-hand job. I had to tilt the bottle because the bottle is now almost half empty. I had to tilt it so that I could get enough of the nib into the ink to drop the sufficient amount of ink. Um, I've wiped off the excess ink from the outer part of the feed and also from the nib. And now I can screw on the outer part of the pen case, the bottom part of the pen case, and cap my pen. And there you have it. Of course, this is often what your fingers will look like after you do this project, but the ink will come off if you wash it fairly quickly um, after you've done the project, the cleaning project, with warm, soapy water. And that's it for today's art bag time-saving tips and tricks video. Remember that I post these videos every Monday and Friday. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, why not subscribe to my channel? And if you subscribe, don't forget to toggle on the little bell so that you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.